Hello Divine Souls, I hope your day is going well. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So let's get the collective energy for this Twin Flame reading today. What are the messages for this reading, Holy Spirit? You have power. So you guys are standing your ground is what I'm picking up here. Whoever you were dealing with, this person doesn't like the fact that you took your power back. Change. They see a change in you. And they don't like it. This person always wanted you to be vulnerable. I'm hearing do as I say and not as I do. This person was very double standard. They were controlling. And it's because they're insecure. When you let this person go, things started to change for the better. Yes, yeah, self-love. This relationship was your wake-up call. This relationship is what caused you to change. The roles here can also be reversed. This could be this person taking their power back and showing themselves self-love and making changes in their life. But we'll get some tarot in a minute to see exactly who they're talking about. But I'm strongly picking up your energy. Instinct. Your instinct or intuition told you to walk away. You didn't want to walk away, but you had to walk away. You see how this person is looking? She's got her hands on her head. It's like you made a head over heart decision. And this was one of the hardest decisions that you had to make because you love this person. You also have rebellion. And this is falling up under change. So this person didn't want to change their ways. And they were rebelling against the connection, which is why you took your power back and you walked away. For some of you, this person was very demeaning. They could have talked about the way you look. For some of you, it was your weight. Nothing you did was ever good enough. And this was a part of your lesson. Self-love. I feel like you tolerated this person for as long as you could because for some of you, you were also insecure. I'm not trying to disrespect anyone, but I strongly feel like you had to work on your self-esteem. And the last card is mystery. So with you taking your power back, this caused you to change. This caused you to show yourself self-love. And I feel like when you broke up with this person, you went into your shell. And you started to transform. And you also became closer to spirit. With this mystery card, this person is seeing you as very mysterious. And they can't figure you out. Number 47 could be significant. Some of you were with this person four years or seven years. And I'm also picking up 11 years. But you became withdrawn from your friends, from your family, from this person. You just created a lot of distance in your life because you knew that you needed to make changes. I feel like this person was toxic and they were trying to make you go down that road. Now that's not going to be everybody's story. Take what fits and leave the rest. So right now they are seeing you as very mysterious and it's because you took your power back. You finally spoke up. On this card, you have a whole bunch of microphones and I feel like you told this person to go kick rocks. On the bottom of the deck, what did I tell you guys? You have guidance. You are strongly in your faith and that's what got you through this whole ordeal. Yeah, for some of you, this person definitely body shamed you. And for some of you, you were so insecure that you went and got butt implants or breast enhancements or you did some kind of surgery to make yourself look better. Now, that's not going to be everybody's story, but I'm definitely picking up low self-esteem. Clarify power. You have the seven of wands. Just like I said, you are standing your ground. This is all about speaking up. Like I said, you finally had a voice. And right now you're in defense mode. Clarify the seven of wands. The king of pentacles. So you guys are focusing on your money. Some of you have even ventured out into entrepreneurship after walking away from this person. It's like this person awakened your spirit. Yeah, you guys are definitely making some money moves. The King of Pentacles is a boss. 
Some of you could have also gotten a new job or a promotion. What's changed? With this King of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands, I feel like this person wants to approach you, but they know that you're heavily guarded. For some of you, they did reach out and you blocked them. And for those of you who have not gotten communication, they do want to talk to you. But they're also terrified because they see this change in you. What's change? The moon. And the funny thing is this person, they were very sneaky. And they were hiding a lot of things from you. And now they feel like the reason why you pull back and the reason why you're standing your ground is because now you're hiding things from them. And that's the pot that's calling the kettle black. They were sneaking and creeping behind your back. And since you have cut ties, that's what they feel like you're doing now. Clarify the moon. But see, the moon is someone who's also mysterious. They can't figure you out like they used to. The Ten of Pentacles. You are moving in silence, collective. And with the Ten of Pentacles falling on the moon, there was either a family secret or they had a secret family. And for some of you, you were the secret. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles and the moon. Yeah, they could have very well been involved with someone else. And that's what changed the dynamic of your relationship when you found out about this third party. Yeah, they were communicating with someone else. You have the Eight of Wands. This third party could have also lived out of state. Or maybe you guys had a long distance relationship. But they were definitely talking to someone else or they were committed to someone else. And that's what the secret was. Clarify self-love. Wow, you had the Eight of Cups that fell on the ground. You walked away because you knew that you were better than this. Yeah, this person was lying and conniving. You have another moon on this card. There were so many secrets and lies in this relationship. You could not even keep up. You guys are definitely at a distance from each other. And you are not speaking. You have your back turned to this person. I'm hearing shit hit the fan. And you just got sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm picking up travel very heavily. This person could have also traveled for work. They worked out of town a lot or they were on a lot of business trips. Maybe this person is a driver of some sort. And this is how they were meeting these people. I'm picking up multiple energies. Clarify instinct. Yeah, that's what instinct is all about. You knew what was going on. For some of you, you couldn't pinpoint it because this person was a good liar, but you didn't trust them. Wow, you have the four of wands. This person was definitely married and they were definitely in another commitment. And see, this is falling on instinct. You knew it. You guys were spending less and less time together and they became distant. And that's why they were rebelling. Clarify rebellion. Another story that I'm getting is both of you could have been married and someone could have been going through a divorce and the other one wasn't. Or both of you could have said that you're divorcing your partners. Or if this wasn't a marriage, it was some form of commitment. But for those of you who I'm picking up on, you were in a relationship and this person was in a relationship. And this could have been long distance. And I feel like someone walked away with the Eight of Cups and the other person didn't. The other person stayed. Which is why you walked away. I don't know whose story that is. Yeah, the world. It's an ending. This is a completion of a toxic cycle. Somebody here got played. Take what fits. Clarify mystery. Yeah, and they kept you in the dark. This person always had you guessing. The death card. You have a lot of cards on endings and walking away. It's a wrap. You put an ending to this mystery. The world is an ending. The Eight of Cups is an ending. The Death card is an ending. This person had your mind fucked up. And look at this for clarification. On the bottom of the deck, you had the Queen of Pentacles. You had the King of Pentacles out earlier. There was a commitment of some sort here that they were lying about. This could have also been a workplace affair. Maybe you had an affair with this person at work, but there was definitely infidelity. So in the extended reading, I'm going to go deeper on the moon card and the mystery card. Because for some of you, you got the receipts of what was going on behind your back. And then for others of you, you're still in the dark about what was really going on. So we're going to see what this person was really doing and who they were with. 
We're also going to see, are they still with this person? And for those of you who are wanting to repair this relationship, we're going to see if this person is coming back. We'll also pull some messages from them and we'll get some advice from Spirit. So if you guys would like to purchase the extended reading, it's for members only, but I'm offering a seven day free trial. So you're free to check it out. But before we go, let's get some Oracle messages to wrap this up. Wow, you have soulmates. That's why it was hard for you to leave. It says you have found your romantic counterpart. You guys have a strong bond. And that's why this relationship was so complicated because there needed to be some lessons learned here. Psychic connection. Yeah, this person is your soulmate. It says your communication goes beyond mere words. So you are telepathically communicating with each other as well. For some of you, you're dreaming about this person, but you guys have a psychic connection. Self-love came out again. Coming to think of it, since this card is out here twice, that's what both of you needed to learn. It says love yourself first. Ooh, look at this. You have rendezvous. So for some of you, this started off as just purely sex-based. It says a private getaway for two is calling you. So if you lived at a distance from each other, you would travel to see this person. They would travel to see you. But there's something about a secret getaway and meeting up. Maybe that's what they were doing behind your back. Having secret rendezvous. Manifesting the one. Very soon your true love will arrive. So for some of you, you're manifesting someone new. Or since you guys have a psychic connection, you're both manifesting each other. Let's get one more. Wow, the last card says perfect match. You complete each other in the most harmonious way. Perfect match and soulmate. That's why this relationship was so challenging. Both of you felt like you were each other's perfect match. But there were some kinks in your relationship that needed to be ironed out. And I really do feel like you guys are thinking about each other right now. Manifesting the one and perfect match. But for some of you, this could be you manifesting someone new altogether, manifesting your perfect match. So I'm going to leave it here. Let's take this to the extended reading and go deeper. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an amazing day. Love, light, and always.